In this video, I will show you how to install a Next.js app on your local machine and start developing with it. We will also have a brief look at the directory structure. Let's check the documentation to see what it says. On the setup page, you can see the instructions to install a Next app. Using the npx command, run the create next app script followed by the version number you want to install. In this example, they are showing us how to install the pre-built example project maintained by Vercel. But in our case, we want to install a fresh next app. Also notice that the command is quite similar to the create react app command used to set up a react project. Okay, let's go to the code editor. This is where I'm gonna install it. Let me open the terminal to run the command. First, move to the project directory before executing the command. By the way, in case you are new to all these, npx is a command line utility that allows executing npm packages. It comes along when you install Node.js and npm. I have Node.js already installed on this machine. In your case, you might want to install it first. So npx create next app followed by the version number. Here I want to install the latest version. So at latest. Followed by that you can add the project name. Let me name it as next.js blog. Press enter to start the installation process. Then it asks a few questions. The first one is whether we want to install TypeScript with this project or not. I'm gonna select no as I'm using just JavaScript. Press enter then the next question is about ESLint whether we want to install it or not. Yes because it helps a lot in fixing errors while we code. The script is currently installing the dependencies namely React, React DOM, Next, Next font module as well as the ESLint modules. The installation process can take a couple of seconds or even minutes depending on your internet speed. Ok, the installation is successful. On the left side in our code editor we can see a new directory called next.js blog. Let's take a look at the package.json file to see what all things the script did for us. Within the dependencies property, we can see the list of modules our next app depends on. Above that, we can see that it also added 4 scripts. The next dev command allows us to start the development server. The build command is for building the project once it's finished developing. The start command creates a production server. And then the lint command is also there. Let's launch the dev server to see how the frontend looks. Open the terminal, change to project directory. Let me clear the terminal then run the command npm run dev. Ok, it says the server is started on localhost port 3000. So let me go to the browser to load the page. HTTP localhost colon port 3000. Ok, here it is. This is how the default Next.js homepage looks like. To save time during coding, there is no need to refresh the page after we edit a file in the editor because next comes with a feature called fast refresh. Let's see how it works. In the editor, we want to go to the pages directory where next stores all the route files. And the route file corresponding to the home page is this one index.js. If I add a heading tag somewhere here, which says welcome to our next.js blog. Back in the browser, the edit has already taken effect without me needing to refresh the browser. Ok, that's how fast refresh works. Now let's discuss the directory structure while going through them one by one. Now we are within the pages directory. 
as we already discussed the pages directory is where we put all the route files nextjs follows a file based routing system so you will have a file corresponding to a route for instance if i create a new file called about.js and export a function component from that just like this home function then next will create a page called domain slash about on the front end that's how routing works also each route file exports a function component here in this case the home component and the content for the page is returned in jsx format it will then be converted to proper html when you build the site and above that we have a list of all the module imports that this function component depends on within the pages directory you can also find two more files called app.js and document.js in the same level as the index.js file the app.js file is the parent of all the other route files also this is from where you import global style sheets store state data for all the pages etc because it makes them available to all the other page routes so you can consider this as the entry point to our application and the app.js file exports a default function called app it renders the component prop which is the current active page so you can use page props to pass data to any page from here and then we have the document.js file which allows customizing the html and body tags for instance you can add the lang attribute set a body class name etc within the pages directory you can find another directory called api and that's where you put all the server only routes that means the front end api routes for instance you can create a server route that handles form submissions from the contact page i will show you how to do that later in this video series unlike other route files next js will not build them as html pages on the site's front end and since it's server only you can safely perform sensitive actions using api routes for instance communicating with a third party api that requires authentication much safer than doing it from the browser where it can expose credentials an api route file exports a function that accepts two parameters the request and the response so that's all the pages directory is about then comes the public directory the public directory is where we can put static assets such as images for instance the site's favicon logo image and things like that then comes the styles directory which contains the global css files as well as css modules here the globals.css file is required by all the pages and it's loaded from within the app.js file then we also have css modules which are required by certain pages only for instance the home module css is required only by the index page that is our home page so it is imported to the index.js file like this next we'll automatically create unique class names for classes in css modules so you can use the same class names in multiple css files without causing name collisions also you can call the class names just like normal javascript objects for instance styles.main styles.description etc if you check the module.css file you can see the corresponding class names defined there class main class description like that then comes the node modules folder i hope you already know what it is at the top you can find the dot next folder which is hidden by default this is where next stores all the built files when you build the site moreover the nvx create next app command has also set up a git repository for our project so there is no need to do it manually 
The git ignore file already contains the files and folders that should not be committed to the repository. Finally, we have a next.config.js file where we can put the configurations. In the next video, we will create the route files.